Good morning, good morning, everybody. 5.55 Central Standard Time. How's it right this morning? I gotta be careful, Brittany, the way you got this thing propped up over here. Hey, good morning, Miss Regina. How you doing? How's everybody over there on Instagram? Good morning, Warriors. Good morning from Omaha, Nebraska. Good morning, Luella. Leslie, I love you. Good morning, Miss Crystal. Hi, Latoria. <laughs> What's everybody up to this morning? So, Kaylee said if on the new app of Instagram you can share the video. Is that true? My daughter said, my daughter said I need to um update my app for Instagram. That's what Kaylee said. Lashing, I love you. Lashing, did you get your shirt? <laughs> Angel CC, I saw where you ordered another shirt. Thank you. Brittany's stomach is loud, y'all. Y'all hear it? Today's, which reminds me, today's our corporate fast. Thanks, Brittany's stomach, for reminding me. Today is our corporate fast. Sun up to sundown, y'all. We're going to do liquids. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, Joyce. Taryn, good morning. Good morning, Vanessa. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Veronica. Good morning, Tabitha. Good morning, Faith uh, Christian Center in Vicksburg, Mississippi. How y'all doing? What's everybody up to this morning? Hi, Brian. Amen. Good morning, Patrice. Y'all are awesome. Love you too, Master Mom 213. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. Instagram got the hearts going too. Y'all are so sweet. Oh, Angel Cece's giving us the weather. Partly cloudy, feels like 67. Oh, that reminds me. Thank you, Angel Cece. Let me get my weather going. Hey, Brian, uh, what time of day is it where you are? Hello, our sister down under. No, I did not write it, Brittany. That's yesterday. Brittany's confused me, y'all. She's trying to get me to get y'all yesterday's weather. I, I pulled it up, though. Oh. It's already ready. I don't trust it. It tells me bad stuff. I refreshed it like twice. Oh. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Alrighty then. Y'all ready to go into prayer? That's right. Said so thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. That's showing up the truth. They are showing enough. Father, we thank you this morning. Let's type in a love note to our Father, y'all, this morning. Hello, Ada, Oklahoma. Hello, H2O Church. Y'all are awesome. I miss y'all already. I'm going through warrior withdrawal, like I was telling Patty and Liz last night. Let's type in and let's tell the Lord thank you this morning. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We're excited. It's already Wednesday. Man, another week is almost gone. Father, we give you glory. Thank you for just allowing us to come back together again, the warrior nation. Every morning you give us the grace, Lord, to come back together shoulder to shoulder before your throne and cry out, Abba, Father, you are our daddy. We worship you. We adore you. We reverence you. We look to you. We depend on you, Father, and we just thank you this morning. Our hearts are just overflowing with joy and gratitude and just we're so thankful for you choosing us, for you being our God. Father, we thank you for the confidence that we can have in you that if you said it in your word, you will bring it to pass. Not only if you said in your word, God, but you watch over your word and make sure that you perform it. So, Father, we thank you for your word, that the word works. We thank you that you've allowed the word to come alive in our hearts. And you're showing us day by day and bit by bit, Holy Spirit, how to live off of the word, the living word, God, the bread of life. We just thank you for this morning. God, we just declare that today is going to be a great day. Just filled with miracles and signs and wonders and good news and breakthroughs and deliverance, God. Restorations, reconciliations, God. We thank you today. Every need is met in the warrior nation, Father. You already promised to supply all of our needs. So, God, this morning we look to you and we acknowledge that you are Jehovah Jireh. You provide for us, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for seeing fit to even breathe new air into our lungs today, God. You didn't have to do it, but you did, and we thank you, Father. Help us to get the most out of this day, Lord, to look past our circumstances, God, and to look to you. We give you glory and honor. We ask you to bless this time together. I so look forward to this morning after morning with my family, Lord. I just thank you for this privilege and honor of speaking life into your precious people, of teaching your precious people, Lord. God, I just thank you for that we can line up before your throne every morning. Lord, as you do every morning, bless our time. Bless this video. Holy Spirit, you're the teacher. Our ears are inclined to your instructions. We pray for hearts that will quickly obey your word. We love you, Father. Have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, warriors. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just make sure we tell the Lord thank you this morning. We always want to start off with some Thanksgiving. It's 5.59 a.m. Central Standard Time, so I'm excited this morning. Um, let's go ahead and kick it off. we got a lot to tell y'all today. Um, and today is your birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. What's today, June 21st? Yes, today is our corporate fast, so if, if you're able to join in with that, um, sun up to sundown, we will do liquids only, sun up to sundown. Thank you guys for sharing this video. Uh, please hit the share button and share it. 
Type in this morning, Lord, order my steps. I don't know, they just came in my heart this morning. Father, order my steps. Because when God orders our steps, we don't have to worry about being on the wrong path. Father, order my steps. Order my steps, Father. Order my steps. Okay, we're going to stand on that today. The message today is I know who I am. I know who I am. There's so much power in that. Good morning, Will. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get this done first. First things first, the weather. Uh, make sure you're sharing the video. All right, here we go. I'm trusting Brittany. Well, it's my iPad, but she refreshed it. Yeah, that's right. So it's been storming here for like, what, <laughs> three weeks now, almost a month. Um, right now in Jackson, Mississippi, it's 71 degrees and cloudy. It feels like 71. High of 78 today. Low of 73. Thunderstorms once again. Um, 100%. It's already raining. Showers and thunderstorms. So the winds are coming out of the east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And heavier rainfall is also possible. You showing me something, Brittany? Oh, hi, honey. I didn't see you join. Love you, sugar. Okay. So, yeah. Y'all got the weather forecast. Let's see what it's going to tell y'all. I've had a lot of questions come in about the women's conference. Um, Brian brought some things to my attention. Thank you, Brian. So if you live in New Orleans, then of course, you don't have to book a room unless you just want to treat yourself for the weekend. But um, again, we're going to get that registration link and everything out within about a week or two. It's coming. Like 1st of July, I promise it'll be out. It is limited seating. So um, if you plan to join us in New Orleans, we ask you to go ahead and register as soon as we post that link and take care of all that. It begins on Friday, October the 6th, and it ends on Saturday evening, October the 7th there's going to be a vip option there that's also very limited just a meet and greet social um where we can just hang out a little bit before the actual um what do you call it before the actual service starts friday night so anyway i am woman's name of that conference is going to be in new orleans october 6th and 7th at the regency hyatt's on loyola drive and that's for women only don't worry i'm doing something for everybody we're going to have our annual warrior conference we're looking at april of 2018 but just this is for the ladies very excited about it. i got a lot to tell you guys so that's october 6th and 7th and we'll get that link out for you guys to go ahead and do your registration and stuff very 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 soon okay what else did i say oh let me say something y'all Brittany post a link thank you for all your support a lot of you guys have already gotten this shirt i am healed we are going to be able to get these we're going to be able to move these a little faster than we moved um, the I Believe in Miracles. And people are still ordering the I Believe in Miracles. And we don't want you to stop. We're going to do something different with that t-shirt probably next month. But for right now, you're welcome to keep ordering the one that we have out. Y'all, please put your full name on your order and your full address. We've got a lot of packages that have come back where people forgot their apartment numbers. Even, even some of our international shipments where people missed a part of their address and then... A lot of y'all, like, they didn't give me my shirt when actually we, we tried and the packages are back because we don't have a complete address and then we're emailing you and we're not getting a response. So I don't know if we're going to your spam or what. So we have multiple packages here. Don't make me start calling the names out on the video. We want you to get your shirt. So just um, double check and make sure that you're putting, I don't know, it must be easy to make a mistake on there because a lot of people have done that. So make sure you put your apartment number, your, your full name. And then if you have a, a question about your package, please give us your real name. Like, we're getting emails with people's nicknames and stuff. And we can't find your name and your order by your nickname or your email. We have to know your real name that you ordered in. So, thank you for that. Amazing. And remember, don't be nasty when you email me. Do not be nasty, warriors. So, okay. I'll leave it at that. Um, another question. Somebody said, are y'all going to pray over these shirts? Y'all, we, pr we pray over every shirt that leaves warrior nation apparel so yes we are praying over these shirts also we got a lot of emails and questions about kelly are you praying over this shirt too and i was like yes we pray over every shirt and we pray you know that it's a blessing to you guys and it just reminds you of who god is and how if he said in his word that we are healed we are healed if he says that we should just believe that we believe so yes we are still praying over all the shirts and Brittany's going to post a link to get your shirts and i'm very excited about it for the i am healed shirt um we changed the material a little bit, so I'm very excited. It's going to be a, really a softer. Uh, the other shirts were tri blend and dual blend. They were not 100% cotton, but I wanted to take it up a notch. We did not change the price, but I just wanted to take it up a notch. So we ordered soft cotton. feels so good on your skin. So that the, the I Am Heal shirts will be uh, a softer material. So, okay, I think I got everything. Today is our corporate fast, sun up, sundown. Did birthdays, did women's conference, did the address. 
a lot of testimonies are coming in from the night of miracles so we'll start to share those very soon very excited okay so we're going to be in daniel today 5 13 through 17 thanks for listening to all of our busy stuff somebody on instagram wants to know how to order the shirt it's warrior apparel.org warrior hyphen apparel.org but, oh, it's in my bio on Instagram, Brittany said. Okay, so when we go, we're going to Daniel 5, 13 through 17. I know who I am. Y'all, I love this. Type it in. Thank you, Veronica. Hit the share button. Type it in. I know who I am. I know who I am. There's so much power in that. So we're talking about how Belshazzar, the new king, um, you know, Nebuchadnezzar's gone in Babylon. And we have this new king, and he was just having this amazing time. And then all of a sudden, his hand shows up and starts writing a message on the wall. And he doesn't know what it means. None of the astrologers and soothsayers and magicians could tell him what it means. So then the queen mother shows up. And she says, "We know. I know somebody that can tell you what this means. He's Daniel. He's proven. Um, he was chosen by Nebuchadnezzar. You know, just honored by Nebuchadnezzar, who was Belshazzar's grandfather and so anyway she speaks very highly of daniel and so at first i was going to name this you know who do people say you are let your reputation speak for you but i decided to just tie it all in together with just saying i know who i am i know who i am once we know who we are in christ like for real i mean i know we say that i know who we are i know who i am i said that a long time before i actually had an idea of who i was i was just saying something but when you really when God, when God reveals to you who you really are, y'all, there is so much power in that. And that is why I'm so excited about how the Holy Spirit allowed me to pull that from this message today. So beginning in Daniel 5, 13 through 17. Here we go with 13. So Daniel was brought in before the king. The king asked him, are you Daniel, one of the exiles brought from Judah by my predecessor, King Nebuchadnezzar? I have heard that you have the spirit of the gods within you and that you are filled with insight, understanding and wisdom. My wise men and enchanters have tried to read the words on the wall and tell me their meaning, but they cannot do it. I am told that you can give interpretations and solve difficult problems. If you can read these words and tell me their meaning, you will be clothed in purple robes of royal honor and you will have a gold chain placed around your neck. You will become the third highest ruler in the kingdom. Last line, my favorite of it all, y'all. Daniel answered the king, keep your gifts or give them to someone else. But I will tell you what the writing means. One more time. Daniel answered the king, keep your gifts or give them to someone else. But I will tell you what the writing means. First of all, Daniel was nearly 90 years old, y'all. So... Probably didn't even want to go chain by the time you're 90. I mean, I don't know. But I just like the fact that he was like, I said it yesterday. Keep it. Look, I don't need anything from you. It's like he was saying, I don't need any of the bells and whistles because I am here on assignment. And it's like when you're somewhere on assignment, when you know that God has sent you somewhere on assignment, all that little extra stuff that people try to give you, you're more focused on the assignment and making sure that you fulfill the call that God has on your life. And what I love about this is I told you, Mother Queen said let's call Daniel she didn't say I think there's someone here in Babylon that might could tell you what the writing on the wall means she said look there's someone here he was proven he was privileged by your grandfather King Nebuchadnezzar we need to call him in because this man has a great reputation he has an excellent spirit the holy gods the spirit of the holy gods living on the inside of him look they served idols, y'all. They were doing the best they could. They, 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 didn't, they, they didn't recognize the God of Israel. So she described him in the best way that she knew how with her, with her thinking and with her mind at the time. She knew that there was something in Daniel that was beyond human ability. Just like there is something in every single one of us in the warrior nation, in every believer, that is beyond, that goes beyond our human ability because we have the spirit of God on the inside of us and it gives us insight into what's to come. It gives us, a, gives us an edge on other people because we have the knower of all things resting on the inside of us. And this is why Daniel was so well spoken of. It was not Daniel's own ability. You know, it was God in Daniel that could release the message, that could give him that ability to know things and to be wiser than anybody else. So the next time you don't know something like when I'm sitting down taking a test, I was like, you know what? I don't know this. The Holy Spirit. I am calling on you because I know that you dwell on the inside of me. And so I trust that you're going to guide me into all truth. You know, the Holy Spirit knows it all. The Holy Spirit knew exactly what the writing on the wall meant. So they sent for Daniel. What I love now 
is Dan doesn't go, man, let me see if I can figure out what this means. Daniel goes, keep your gifts. God in me, I got this. I got it. I don't need anything else from you. And so as we learn tomorrow, he's going to proceed with the interpretation of what was on the wall. But Daniel was so confident, y'all. He said so little. But you can still see how confident he was. He was like, keep your gifts. He didn't come forth and say, y'all saying all this about me? Like, man. Daniel was, he didn't say, what took y'all so long? Do you know the prominent position I had when your grandfather was leading this nation? No. He didn't say anything. When they called for him, he was a stranger. If you read the text, Daniel had become a stranger to the courts. The same man that was so well known that Nebuchadnezzar depended on, relied on, had become a stranger to the courts. Belshazzar didn't even know who he was. Daniel didn't say, well, it's about time I'm 90 now that y'all call me back to the forefront. See, like I was saying this morning, people may forget about you. People may overlook you, but our daddy, he will never forget about his children. He will never overlook his children. And like I said yesterday, when that timing is right, y'all, all we have to do is come forward. We just have to be ready. Write it in again. I'm ready. I'm ready. I know who I am and I'm ready. And so this is Daniel. He didn't scramble around and say, oh, father, help me now. I got to know this. Daniel knew who he was and he knew what was on the inside of him. And so when they called him with this major issue, he already had a solution because he was already with God. He was already in his presence. He had lived a life that was consecrated. It was nothing for him to step forward and to be who God had already called him to be. Just type in. That's right, Instagram warriors. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I keep saying to y'all because we have to be ready. I got a little testimony I'm going to share. It's 612 and then we're going to go into prayer. So... With everything that's going on, y'all know I'm going to be at MegaFest next week. Um, but with everything that's going on, we just got back from Ada. Um, I had to take some time to go and do a new photo shoot. So I'm th releasing some of those pictures. But I did that on yesterday. And I actually prayed before I did the photos, which I've never done before. I asked God to allow this photo shoot to be the best one I've ever done. And I didn't do that because I want somebody to say, oh, you're so pretty or anything like that. I asked God to allow the pictures to reflect who he is and what he is doing in my life. So it's like I had a different mindset when I went in to take the pictures. I was like, Lord, I want your, not, not my own glory. I want the glory of the Lord to be revealed. And we want people to see that this life that we live for Jesus is actually fun. And it is more rewarding than anything the world could ever give me. Like Daniel says, keep your gifts because I don't need them. It's like this life that we have in Christ. When we realize the power of, that we have in God and, and how so much happens when we come together and we pray and we begin to walk out this life that God has for us, y'all, it's supposed to show up. I'm going to talk about this more at the women's conference, ladies. But a lot of y'all, you need to go take some pictures. Like, you need to just up your game, get yourself together, and just let this new season that you're walking in uh, reflect on pictures and just, you just need to up your game. But we'll talk about that more in October. But I said I had to say, I was talking to my photographer, I love him dearly, um, and he said, you know, Kelly, um, because I've been dealing with them for three years since I first wrote my book, When God is Silent, and the photos up at the top, I can't pull it down. But anyway, when I first went in there, y'all, three years ago, almost four years ago, I said, God's going to do something really big in my life. And, you know, I don't know if people think I'm, I don't know. People might think I'm playing. I'm not sure because I've been saying it for a long time. When I was saying God's going to give me twins, people laughed. I kind of got the same response from a lot of people when I was saying God's going to give me twins. And people was like, whatever. So a few years ago when I was saying God's going to do something really big in my life, I said, I feel like God has called me to do something great. That's why I'm here to take these pictures. You know, when nobody knows who you are, nobody's heard your name. Like, okay, that's that's wonderful. You know, it's great. It's great that you have a dream. But last night when I was talking to him and he was like, you know, things are really really opening up for you. And he's like, I remember when you came in here years ago and you said that God's going to do something big in your life. And I said, yeah, I said, and you know, it seemed like it took a long time. I'm going somewhere with this and then we're going to pray. I said, it seemed like it took a long time. I said, but when you think about it, it really did not take a long time. You know what took a long time, y'all? For me to get on the right path. Like, I knew I was supposed to do something. I had written my book. I thought it was mainly just about my book. I thought I was just going to, like, be going around doing, like, being a motivational speaker or something. I wasn't sure. And so, for years, I was pushing, like, being a life coach and pushing being a motivational speaker. And, of course, pushing my book. And, and But it just wasn't moving. But the minute I started pressing in, this is for somebody, and I started praying and getting in this closet, the Lord shifted me from this life coach, motivational speaker, 
type situation to birthing me out in prayer and teaching his word, which I absolutely did not want to do. And once God shifted me and then this, this bent towards healing and praying for healing, once God shifted me and I got on track, everything began to open. And so my point is, Brittany made the example this morning. I, I said, it was like I was on a frontage road. Like you can see the main road. It's like, but I wasn't on the main road. Like I wasn't on a bad path. I just wasn't on the path that I was supposed to be on. And I'm, I was making an example of like, you know how you get off on the front end road and you think you're going to get there faster. Like if there's a traffic jam on the main road, like you can look ahead on the main road. So it looks like the front end road is going faster until you get off on the front end road. And what you don't see, Brittany said, you don't see the traffic lights. You don't see how the traffic has bottlenecked because everybody got out the main road to try to go this way. So my point was, I was not on a bad path. And I had small wins, W-I-N-S, along the way. But when I did that 40-day fast and I got serious, I was like, I have to find destiny. Like, I'm not going to be spinning around and around and around in the wilderness. And when I did that 40-day fast, God just pushed me into this path that I'm on now. And so I told my photographer, what took so long was me. Yeah, it's God's time, y'all, but I truly believe he was waiting on me. Is he waiting on you this morning? Like, is there something he's told you to do and you're not doing it because you think you should be doing this other way? Like, I'm a witness. I talk about it all the time because, y'all, it's been a journey. And it's like the minute we went on that fast and I got serious, I said, I don't want anything to eat. I have to be after my destiny. There's something in me that God has called me to do. I've got to go after it, y'all. We got to get dream chasers. I said at the beginning of the year, we got to be hungry for destiny, y'all. We have to know who we are. And the enemy works double time and triple time as you begin to get on the right path to stop you from knowing who you are. But we, the warrior nation, I told you we're going somewhere. Stay with me. You're going to know who you are because I'm showing you the recipe, what we have to do for God to reveal himself so we can walk out that plan without all this craziness and all these stops and just all this confusion and not knowing who you are. So type it in one more time. I know who I am. I know who I am. I'm telling you, I blame God. Why won't you answer? I wrote a whole book. Why won't you answer, God? Why won't you answer? And God said, I'm trying to answer you. You've got to get into position. Shut your mouth. And listen to what I've been trying to tell you. While I was whining and throwing a pity party, God won't answer my prayers. Everybody's getting their prayers answered but me. He was like, if you would just do what I've been telling you to do, even though it doesn't look like it's going to work, you already be walking in your blessed place. You already know who you are because I desire for you to know who you are. I don't want my children wandering around the wilderness, never touching the land of milk and honey, never knowing who they are. No, I created you for a reason and I want that reason to come to pass. But a lot of times we make excuses and we want to take alternate routes. And that's why we, we leave here on full, never knowing who we are. But the devil is a liar. We, the warrior nation, <laughs> we will know who we are. Father, I thank you this morning. We thank you. We thank you for this example in Daniel. When they called for him, he didn't scramble around. He rose up to the occasion, Father. You put him right back in the forefront for what's next, for what's ahead, for the fall of this monarchy, God. And you placed him back in a strategic position at 90 years old. Therefore, we have not one excuse, not age, not circumstance, not because somebody has overlooked us or not called our names. God, help us to keep our focus on you. Help us, God, to keep persistent in prayer. Until we know who we are and until that plan begins to unfold your plan for our lives. Father, we thank you for this morning. As I ask you every morning, please go before the warrior nation. Make every rugged path smooth. Every crooked place straight and bring every high place low. Keep them out of harm's way. Keep them out of the reach of their enemies. God, I pray every morning. We pray the same prayer every morning. Enlarge our territories. Grant us favor. Give us knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Show us who we are in you. As we step out into this dark and perilous world today, let us be lights that cannot be hidden. We are the salt of the earth, God, and we will not lose our flavor.
Father, we thank you this morning. We're the better truth around our ways. The helmet of salvation, Lord, the breastplate of righteousness, God. We were sandals of peace. We carry the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit, which is your word. How we thank you that this word has come alive, that it is fresh. Let it be imprinted on our hearts that we will not sin against you. As we always pray, we thank you for our precious Avery Anderson. Lord, we thank you for her healing and her restoration. We thank you for joy and strength. And we pray, God, that you will use him as a mouthpiece for you, God, for Jehovah McMahon. We don't give up. We stand in faith with her family. And we still believe you for a miracle because after all, you are the God of miracles. Nothing is too hard for you, God. Please continue to strengthen baby Tonto, Mariah Grace, our baby Gabriel, Lord, and precious little London. We thank you for their healing. We thank you for Shania, God, how you've already healed her, God. We thank you for that victory. And we celebrated this morning. And for the life of Monica Sykes that we will not forget. The yellow hearts represent her life and all missing people, God. We thank you. This morning, that missing people all over the world, God, are coming home. They're finding their way back to safety. And God, we thank you for the mantle that you've given to Regina Sykes and her family, Lord. And we ask you to just strengthen their hands for the work that is ahead. That she will know without a doubt who she is in you. And that she will know without a doubt who's carrying her through this difficult season of life. How we bless you today. Father, if anyone with a petition this morning, go ahead and type it in as we get ready to close out. Warriors, whatever it is you're standing together for somebody else this morning. If you really want to know who you are in God, say, God, just reveal it to me. I pray it so much, Lord. I don't know who I am. Please. And because I don't know who I am, I'm going this way and that way. If somebody tells me to do it this way, I do it this way. You tell me to do it that way, I do it that way. But once we know who we are in Christ, we won't be swayed all over the place. We will know who we are and what we've been called to do. Father, reveal to us what you have placed on the inside of us. God, every petition is coming this morning. We thank you, Father, that you're seeing those petitions and that you are answering in a way that will bring you the most glory and honor to your name. Thank you for blessing our time together, God. Today is going to be an amazingly great day. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Hallelujah and amen. I have so enjoyed talking to y'all today. I love you guys so much. I miss you guys so much. I cannot wait until we're back in one place again. I'm just going through warrior withdrawals like so seriously. It's just something about being with you guys in person. For those of you who didn't make it to Ada, um, the, lim the women's conference is limited and just for women, but I, I pray that you meet us there. And then also we're going to do something big next spring. And I pray that as many of you guys as possible will come so that you can experience what we experienced this past weekend when we all came together. So I love you guys. You will know who you are in Christ and make sure you get this shirt. If, if you're all good, bless somebody else with, we all know somebody that needs to be reminded of Isaiah 53 and five that we are healed. So Brittany post that link one more time. I love you guys so, so much. I really, really do, and I'll see you guys in the morning. You guys have a great, great, great day. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. We good, Brittany? Yeah. 622. Okay. I love y'all. Oh, great. All right, y'all. All right. He's so good. I love you, too. <laughs> Amen. All right, love y'all. See you tomorrow. I'm with you, Tabitha. Favorite report, the doctor. You need this shirt, Tabitha. Mm-hmm. <laughs>